let's talk about your connection to Winnipeg and how you how you came to sign for the Manitoba Moose. Yeah, for sure. I've been kind of talking to them for a bit now, uh, over a year. So it's fortunate to be able to get it to work out and get on down here, meet the guys, and join the team. So it's been fun so far. And uh, you were saying before, just before we got started that you know some of these guys. So how'd you, how you? How many of the guys did you know before you got to, to Winnipeg? Yeah, none personally. But I started out east in college, and obviously. Played in college for a bit, so I played against a handful of guys. Uh, Jeff Malotz one, Parker Ford's another. So uh, some friendly faces. Well, back in the day they weren't friendly, but friendly now. So, uh, yeah, it's been good to have some faces like that. What, uh, what did this past season uh, do for you personally? You were the captain. Obviously, you, had a, you guys had a really good hockey team. Um, was there a lot of growth uh, there? Just maybe not even the on-ice stuff, but just leadership and all those qualities that come with being a captain? Yeah, for sure. No, anytime you're one of the older guys on the team that have been around for a while, you uh, are leaned on for, for advice and, and to help the young guys show them way a little bit as much as you can and always trying to learn. But the biggest thing I wanted to do as a leader was just not to change anything, just do exactly what I had before and what had given me and the team success beforehand. So that was kind of my focus. This. Right. Your path is a little bit different, right? You had the, the COVID year, yeah. which obviously kind of wiped out a season, and then you had a significant injury as well. Just, just maybe take me through that college experience, because a lot of people might go, it's 25, that's, that's a bit on the older side to, yeah. be, to be coming out. No, for sure, absolutely. Uh, obviously, COVID completely canceled my sophomore year, so I didn't play that at all. And then my junior year, I actually ruptured my spleen, missed the first half of the year. And then last year, my first year with St. Cloud, I had that unfortunate foot injury that uh, put me out for the second half of the year. So uh, I'm happy to be have a full healthy year this season and be feeling great. So and fortunate to be joining a great organization like uh, the Jets here now. How did the ruptured spleen happen? Was it something that happened on ice? Yeah, well, after the canceled season, it was actually my second sh first shift of my second game back. Oh. It was just a routine rub out where I just started having a stomach ache the rest of the period. I actually finished the game and then it wasn't until the bus ride home where it was felt like my stomach was eating me inside out. But uh, uh, that's a, that's how that went down, yeah. Um, obviously, the Moose, and there's a few t uh, AHL teams that have this, but to have the, the big club also in the same city, you know, playing under the same rank, how much, I guess, added incentive is that for a player like you? You know there's probably going to be a lot of people from the Jets kind of watching on a regular basis, right? No, absolutely, yeah. That was for, for sure a factor that I put into peace when I decided to come to Winnipeg. And it's always nice you get to kind of see how the, the NHL guys are doing their thing too as well to be able to, to learn from them and learn habits and stuff and obviously the extra eyes on you as well is, a, is an added benefit. So if you perform well, you play well, hopefully you get noticed and, and good things happen. Describe your game. Uh, what do you bring to the, the team or what do you bring to the ice? Yeah, I'm a high compete, high character, uh, great skating, high IQ defenseman, try to play two-way game. Uh, and contribute offensively as much as possible while playing smart, uh, good stick, uh, good feet, defensive, defensive game. So uh, I'm just going to do what I can to help this team win and hopefully get in the lineup at some point. As a Calgary kid, how did you end up going the college route? Because, of course, you know, Canadians, a lot of them end up going in the Western Hockey League. What was maybe behind that decision and uh, what did you end up studying in, uh, in college as well? Yeah, good questions. Uh, well, I knew I was going to be a late bloomer. Uh, I was really late. Uh, grower in terms of physical pu yeah. puberty and strength and stuff. So uh, I just kind of wanted the extra development years that I got in college. And I think it made a big difference for, for my game on and off the ice. And then uh, in, in school, I, I was a neuroscience major at, uh, at Union. And then I was taking a sports management uh, master's program through St. Cloud. So you are the so smartest two guy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. If you talk to me, en if you t if you talk to me enough, you'll see that's not, <laughs> not the case. I know a bunch of journalists here. So. <laughs> what, made Matt, like, what made the Moose a good fit for you? What, why, why was it? I mean, you were talking to them last year, you said. So yeah. obviously it had been on the radar, but it was just they were pursuing you. How did, yeah. did it kind of come to be? For sure. Well, I heard great things about management and coaching staff just in terms of honesty and integrity and how they approach things every day from, from players that have played here and obviously talking to some other sources. So that was something that mattered a lot to me as well as some opportunity that uh, we had been discussed. So those are two of the biggest things and I'm excited to be here now and hopefully help the team win however possible. Is there a type of player or a player that you kind of mold yourself after? I like watching a lot of guys, but there's some great examples Josh with the Jets. Morrissey. Josh Morrissey, yeah. um, also um, Nate Pionk, uh, Pionk, Neil Pionk, sorry, yeah. and, and Nate Schmidt too. Two other undrafted, average size, well sk good skating college defensemen. So uh, those are for sure some guys I try and model my game after. And, and hopefully one day if uh, things go well and I, I perform well, then maybe I can get to that place. 
Were there conversations with other organizations or uh, other options that you were considering, Dylan, before this turned out to be the one that you wanted to take? Yeah, for sure. Definitely were. But uh, I'm happy to be a part of the Jets organization, and I'm really, really excited for this opportunity with this group. So. Yeah, yeah. And just when you review all those injuries that you had to, uh, you know, persevere through, uh, how gratifying is it, to, you know, to have this particular opportunity to, to try to take advantage of? No, for sure. Just two injuries, but some major ones for sure that took out a lot of time. It really makes you grateful for the game that you play and for your health and, and to be able to compete and have fun on the ice out there. So. Uh, it's what I love, this sport, So, and I think that it's a real character test when you have to go through challenges like that, but it makes you better. You come out of it stronger, so um, I'm fortunate to be feeling good now. So, You mentioned that you know there were some sources that you spoke to uh, before making this decision. Uh, yeah. Are there any names or people that you could share who uh, you, you spoke with, whether they're players or coaches or whatever? Yeah, some of them for sure. Uh, Cole Meyer was one, a former union player that uh, was here for a while. Uh, he spoke great things about the organization. So that's one example of just guys that uh, I leaned on for this uh, decision. Um, you'd love to be playing in it, no doubt, the Frozen Four coming up. Uh, fans around here will probably be keeping an extra eye on it because there's a guy named Rucker McGordy who, what's your assessment of the field for the Final Four? And have you ever had any run-ins with, uh, with Rucker on the ice? Or? Uh, well, we played Michigan back in November, but he was injured at the time. Right. I don't remember what it was, so he wasn't playing that weekend. But uh, I know. in the hospital, I believe, at that time. Yeah, yeah he might have been. Yeah. yeah. But uh, obviously, he's a great player. Uh, nice little voice crack there. But <laughs> he's a great player. He's got a lot of potential, and hopefully I get to play with him sooner or later. Right. What, uh, what's your take? Take on the Boston College, Boston U, Denver, and Michigan. Uh, yeah. Is there one team that you're you're looking at more than the others? Or? Four great teams. Uh, <laughs> sort of rooting for Denver a little bit because they knocked us out of contention there right before the yes. tournament, unfortunately. But so kind of representing the NCHC, I guess. I In suppose. Overtime, right? Yeah, it was a heartbreaking one. But uh, I guess guess I'll root for them, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs>